Now at 6.30 on WKYT This Morning, a southeastern Kentucky couple is facing charges in the death of their infant. A central Kentucky mother is accused of giving drugs and alcohol to kids as young as 12 while hosting what are described as wild parties. And see the video of police chasing a man who tried to get away on a horse. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning from WKYT News. We also have an Amber Alert this morning. We'll have the details for you in just a bit. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. As far as the weather goes, of course, it's another day of uh, continued rain chances, and we're seeing some rain come down now. We're a little used to this, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, though, it's uh, going to eventually clear, and uh, the chances lessen of uh, more rain. Let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris. Well, the, the lesson is we just have to watch out for some high water issues. That's what we really have to pay attention to as we travel throughout the day. No real severe weather threat uh, is expected. This one has really ramped up as it's sliding toward Winchester, Winchester downtown here any minute. And then as you look toward North Middletown, as you travel right along 460, that'll be in your neck of the woods here in about 15 to 20 minutes. Paris, I believe you'll miss out on this one, but heads up Mount Sterling. Give it another 45 minutes and you'll be seeing this sliding through. There's two cells down south that you got to be watching. One sliding into really over the southern portions of Rock Castle. The Livingston area, you'll be seeing this very shortly or it moves just to the north of you, kind of on that cusp. But here comes another one back behind that, sliding through Somerset and Science Hill any minute. If you're not already seeing it and you're hearing a lot of lightning within this sliding northbound Mountain Victory, you won't see either one of those cells that slides north of you. There you go with that rain chance this morning. Look for spotty storms in toward the afternoon too. Guys, we'll look into your uh, seven day forecast because there are two days, important days, that you are actually dry. Mostly dry at least. I'll show you that coming up. Okay, see you very shortly. And WKYT tracking a breaking news alert. It originates in Warren County. Where it goes from there, we don't know. State police have issued an Amber Alert this morning for a five year old girl who was last seen in Bowling Green. Well, Aubrey Johnson was last seen wearing a blue jean shirt and jeans with white flowers on them. She has a ponytail and a chipped front tooth. State police say she was last seen with Rike Griffin in a Silver Ford Expedition. Police say Griffin and the child's mother got into some kind of argument. The mother then got out of the car and called police. And that's when they say Griffin took off with little Aubrey. Now the Amber Alert information continues to scroll at the bottom of your screen and we will have it on WKYT.com. We also have a few more descriptions of the person that police say took off with that little girl. Of course, invite you to share it uh, on uh, Facebook and other mm -hmm. social media and we'll keep you updated um, online and on air. Well, it is the most clicked on story on WKYT.com. This morning, an Eastern Kentucky couple charged in connection to the death of their infant. Ashley and Joseph Newsom are charged with manslaughter. Police said their two month old daughter was found unresponsive at their Knott County home. The child later died at a local hospital. Police have not yet said how the child died. Well, a year after a teenager was shot in Lexington, police have now made an arrest. The shooting happened last April on Ash Street near Georgetown Street. Police said the 16 year old was shot in the elbow. He was then taken to the hospital in a car that police later figured out was stolen. New this morning, Antonio Jackson is charged with receiving stolen property after police said he admitted to driving that stolen car. A central Kentucky mother is accused of giving drugs and alcohol to kids at wild parties. At least kids as young as 12 years old. Mm, police say she hosted wild parties for teenagers for years. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is at our live desk with reaction from parents who I can imagine are upset. Good morning, Rebecca and Mill. That's right. Parents say 34 year old Jessica Krugman not only smoked marijuana and drank alcohol with those kids, including her own daughter, but they say she also provided birth control. Police began investigating after a parent went to pick up her 13 year old from what she thought was a girl's only sleepover at Krugman's Bullet County home when she walked in on one of those parties. The investigation revealed these parties had been going on for two years. The children told police at these parties Krugman would give them alcohol and drugs as a reward for cleaning her house. Now the parents, obviously furious, say that it is not all their children received at these parties. Condoms were given. She had taken kids to get a birth control pill. She had taken kids to get morning after pills. So all this came out. And at that point, we said, this is insane, and we called the cops. 
Investigators say these parties started back in January of 2013 and came to an end this March once those parents alerted police. Krugman now faces 17 unlawful transaction with a minor charges. She is scheduled back in court in June. At the live desk, Hillary Thornton, back to you. All right, crazy story. We'll be keeping an eye on that one. Thanks, Hillary. A grand jury will not indict anyone for a deadly officer involved shooting in Madison County. Last September, officers shot 29 year old Jesse Gibbons. Police say Gibbons assaulted a Lexington police officer and led them on a chase to Richmond. They say they had no choice but to shoot him. The Madison County grand jury made its decision after hearing testimony from investigators, witnesses, and firearms experts. Well, new this morning, the family of a woman shot and killed by police in northern Kentucky is now. Now suing. Boone County Deputy Tyler Brockman tried to stop 19 year old Samantha Ramsey from leaving a field party last year. The deputy ended up on the hood of Ramsey's car and fired several shots through the windshield, killing the teenage driver. He was never charged. Ramsey's family has now filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Deputy Brockman and Boone County. Well, well known Lexington businessman and philanthropist Don Jacobs Sr. has died. He will be missed in this community. Jacobs died yesterday at his home. He was 81 years old. Jacobs founded the old Don Jacobs car dealership that now sits at Nicholasville and New Circle Roads many years ago. He and his wife Kathy also donated to several organizations, including the Hope Center and the University of Kentucky. Visitation for Don Jacobs will be tomorrow at Emmanuel Baptist Church in Lexington. His funeral will also be at the church on Saturday. The time is 6.36 now on WKYT This Morning. Heavy rain forced a vault to come out of the ground at a Mercer County Cemetery. Larry Turner says his mother Hazel was buried at Patterson Cemetery back in January, but he says the rain flooded her grave, causing her vault to float up and come out of the ground. He says that sight left him heartbroken. You can see the vault sticking up, and it looks like a bomb has gone up on top of the grave. We were trying to, uh, while trying to move that vault, crews at the cemetery accidentally broke its seal. They say no water reached Hazel's remains and did not affect any other graves in the cemetery. Well, the flooded Red River is causing problems in Powell County again. Emergency management says more than 10 roads around the county are closed this morning because of high water. Police arrested a woman yesterday who crashed her car in high water. That crash led to crews searching for the driver for some time. It was later found at a friend's house after catching a ride there. She was charged with leaving the scene of an accident. Well, an Eastern Kentucky man is charged with DUI while riding a horse. State police arrested Michael Kimmel in the Justil community of Floyd County. They say several people called to say someone was riding a horse while under the influence. Kimmel now faces several charges. Well, we now know and we have video of police chasing a man on horseback in Owensboro. Police said they were trying to wrangle Robert Morris Jr. when he hopped on his horse named Gold and took off. They eventually caught up with the galloping duo. <laughs> Gold was He ran a stop sign. Did you see He that? ran a stop sign. Gosh. Traffic infraction. Gold was put in a trailer and hauled away to be cared for by animal control officers. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad no horses were hurt in any of this. Uh, That's what's right. important. Well, right? okay. That's the horse report <laughs> this morning. I don't know how far <laughs> he thought he was going to go, but maybe he's training that horse for the derby. Yeah, well, with that, with that mm. uh, video evidence, he'll never get out of running that stop sign. <laughs> that is interesting. Wow. Wild. Well, baseball fans get ready because it's opening day for the Lexington Legends. And the Big Blue Nation basketball will also be treated to a special guest who will be stopping by. WKYT's Mark Barber is live for us at Whitaker Bank Ballpark bright and early this morning. Hey, Mark. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. The Lexington Legends home opener has quite a bit planned, and there will be a good mix of both baseball and basketball here. You're used to seeing the Wildcats number 15, Willie Colley Stein, throwing down some impressive dunks. Well, tonight, he will be throwing the first pitch to start off the Legends' 15th season. Now, the Legends are taking on the West Virginia Power at 7.05 tonight. Aside from the baseball and basketball stars, there are quite a few other draws for this game like a chance for fans to win $15,000. The new season is starting off with a Grand Slam inning. If a Legends batter hits a Grand Slam in the sixth inning of the game, one very lucky fan will win 15 grand. 
a well-known name, Marlena Van Hoos, will sing the national anthem before the game. And before Willie Cauley Stein takes him out to throw the first pitch, he will sign autographs on the concourse from 5:45 to 6:45 p.m. Fans of the All-American can also get an item signed and their picture taken with them for $15. However, you do need a Legends game ticket to get into the autograph session. Now, the gates here are opening at 5 o'clock tonight, which is an hour earlier than normal. So, Bill, Rebecca, that will give you guys plenty of time to find your seats before the game gets started at 7.05. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. <laughs> I guess Mark is uh, trying to tell me to take a big long nap because yeah. typically that's when I'd be yeah, asleep. Yeah, then head out there <laughs> at that time. But, uh, you know, hopefully the, the rain will hold off uh, yeah. for folks who uh, will be out at the uh -huh. ballpark tonight and have a good time. Later. I'll definitely be heading out to those weekend games. So yeah. let's check now to see how traffic is moving this morning. Speaking of the weekend, we're getting closer to it. That's we good are. News. Here's Officer Don and live drive traffic. Good morning, Don. Good morning. Outbound Georgetown at the Circle, there is a crash there. Two cars involved in that collision that has uh, the right outbound lane blocked right now. Good news, no one's hurt in that wreck at Georgetown on the Circle. Get a quick look outside. We'll show you the wet roads, Broadway and High Street. Ways map, uh, right now we're making it an okay on Nicholasville Road. Harrodsburg Road, normal traffic flow, and live drivers reporting no problems inbound at the moment on the north side of town toward Lexington. Looks like the slowest traffic is going to be Nicholasville Road, uh, Reynolds toward Southland Drive. Now back to you in the studio. All right, Don, thank you so much. We appreciate the update. And we have 641 right now, a little light shower or two here and there throughout the viewing area. And more coming up on WKYT. Well, here's hoping former Wildcat Willie Cauley Stein has a better arm than a Super Bowl winning quarterback. See Tom Brady bomb in Boston. Showers and thunderstorms out and about again this morning and tour this afternoon, too. We'll really take you into those details with those thunderstorms. We haven't really heard thunderstorms in a while. I'll show you that coming up.